welcome dear students today we are going to discuss topic ratio before going to the definition of a ratio we will go through the examples to understand this concept now first of all let's compare the number of boys to girls in the class suppose in your class 6 we had to compare the boys and girls now let us suppose that there are 30 boys in your class let us suppose it let us suppose that there are 30 boys in class 6th and also there are 10 girls b represents boys and g girls now how do we compare these two quantities that is boys and girls number of boys and girls there are two ways one way is to find a difference between the two suppose boys are 30 and girls are 10 what is the difference 30 minus 10 30 minus 10 that equals to 20 we can say that boys are 20 more than girls now, this is a comparison this is a comparison we you we do by difference that is calculating the difference between two quantities now there is another method and what is that now taking the same example let's then let the number of boys be 30 and number of girls be 10 now if we compare boys to girls we get 30 boys to 10 girls i can also write it as if i write it as a division that is 30 upon 10 boys to girls that is boys upon girls equal to 30 upon 10 this is the other way to compare the two quantities and this is called as a ratio by taking the ratio of boys to girls now what is this ratio when we compare two terms two quantities when we compare two quantities in terms of how many times that is how many times one quantity is more than other quantity now here boys b stands for boys and g for girls boys upon girls comes out 30 upon 10 now how is that equal to what is that equal to i can say that boys are three times girls because three times 10 equals to 30 so by this way by this way i have compared number of boys with number of girls now this type of comparison is called as ratio when we compare two quantities in terms of how many times that is in terms of how many times now here number of boys equal to three times girls this type of comparison is known as ratio this comparison we call as ratio a ratio is the comparison it is simply a comparison of two or more numbers or quantities anything that can be measured is called a quantity suppose weight in kilogram length in centimeter meter whatever so these quantity these are called as quantities that can be measured height of the students in a class a distance traveled by a car these are known as quantities that can be measured so these quantities we compare with the help of with the concept using the concept of ratios a ratio has no units because in the ratio the units get cancelled if i write 30 meter upon 20 meter now here meter and meter will get cancelled meter and meter will get cancelled and i will get a quantity with no units so ratio has no units so notation how do we write ratio suppose we have an example of 2 ratio 3 this is called as 2 ratio 3 it is ratio is written as this colon is used to designate a ratio we use colon these two dots in vertical shape this is called as a ratio this is read as 2 to 3 this is read as 2 to 3 it means that for every two units of the first quantity there are three units of the second quantity so this is how we compare the two quantities there are also other methods to write the ratios first one is write the ratio using the word to we use the word to between the two numbers being compared 
For example, there are eight girls and five boys in my class. Now let's compare this. What is the ratio of girls to boys? The ratio is eight girls to five boys. That is eight to five. This is one way how we compare using ratios. Other method is just the general notation that we used. That is suppose there are three apples and four oranges in the basket. What is the ratio of apples to oranges? The ratio is first we have apples. So apples are three. So we, we will write first three. Then colon. That is this colon then four oranges. Now here order matters. In a ratio the most important thing is that order matters. That is what is the order? Order is that first term belongs to apples. Now we have three apples therefore three. Second term belongs to this four. This belongs to oranges. So we will, we will write four because we have four oranges. Now three ratio four, three to four is different, is totally different that different than 4 to 3. These are two different ratios. 3 to 4 is different than 4 to 3. This is how the order matters. Now there is another method. Write a ratio as a fraction. For example, Hunter and Brandon were playing basketball. Brandon scored 5 baskets and Hunter scored 6 baskets. What was the ratio of baskets Baskets Hunter scored to the baskets Brandon scored? Now the ratio of baskets scored was Now first we have a Hunter So Hunter scored 6 So 6 will come first Because the order matters We will write it in order So first term will be 6 And second will be 5 That is 6 baskets to 5 baskets That is 6 upon 5 We can also write ratio as fraction You will also remember that if we write A ratio B, these are the two terms of ratio. Then the first term A is called the antecedent. It is called as antecedent. And the second term that is B is called consequent. This is called consequent. The comparison is made between same kind of quantities. That is the quantity should be same. For example, we will compare weight with the weight, length with the length, height with the height, so the volume with the volume, area with the area, perimeter with the perimeter. So we always compare two same kind of quantities. Now here is an example. Which ratio shows the ratio of three butterflies to one apple? That is three butterflies, that is three to one. Because we have only one apple. So there are option D is the correct. Three butterflies, one apple. Also, we have more examples here. Write down the ratio of squares to circles in each question. Simplify your ratio where possible. Now here, we have to find the ratio of circles, squares to circles. So first it is square S, then it is circle, that is C. So in first case, it is 2 ratio 1, because we have 2 squares and 1 circle. In second case, it is 1, 2, 3 circles, that is, one, 3 squares, that is 3. How many circles? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 ratio 4. 3 to 4. So there are 3 squares for 4 circles. In third case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. And also what we have? We have 4 circles. That is 4 to 4. We can also write 4 to 4 as 1 to 1 after cancellation. That is reducing to simplest form. That you will come to know in coming slides. Also we have in last case we have 4 to we have 4 to 2. So this is 4 to 2. Because we have 4 squares and 2 circles. Now the concept here is ratio in the simplest form. Before this, you have learned about fractions in the simplest form, where we div divide both numerator and denominator of fraction by their SCF and we get a fraction in simplest form. Same is the case with ratios, because we can write ratio as fraction. The ratio should always be expressed in the simplest form. A ratio A to B is said to be in the simplest form if antecedent first term A 
and consequent b that is second term have no common factor other than one that is the common factor is one the scf of a and b is one for example write in the simplest form we have a ratio of green versus total total colors are 54 and green colors are 36 so comparing green with total 36 ratio 54 that is 36 ratio 54 now reducing the simplest form what is the SCF of 36 and 54 that is 18 dividing both 36 and 54 by 18 what we will get 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 that is 2 ratio 3 is the answer correct answer that is we have reduced the fraction 36 to 54 to 2 to 3 this is one at the same thing now this equals to this also if we have a decimal number in ratios that is how do we simplify it first of all convert decimal to whole numbers and simplify first we have to convert the decimal numbers to whole numbers so we have 0 0.75 now here we have two decimal places in each case therefore we will multiply both sides both terms with 100 so that we will get whole number 0 0.75 multiplied by 100 it will give us 75 2.15 multiplied by 100 it gives us 215 now 75 and 215 what is the SCF of 2 that is 5 5 divided both dividing 75 by 5 we will get 15 divided to dividing 215 by 5 we get 43 so the simplified ratio answer is 15 to 43 is the simple simplified answer this is how we simplify ratios when there are decimal numbers also if there are mixed fractions we have three ratio 2 and 1 upon 4 first of all convert a mixed number to fraction and simplify this is a mixed number fraction we will convert into it simple fraction that is 4 multiplied by 2 plus 1 upon 4 upon denominator that comes out 9 upon 4 here we have 3 whole number now this 4 has to be cancelled how do we cancel this 4 using the mathemat uh, using the uh, rules we will multiply both sides by 4 because in case of fractions when we multiply numerator we also multiply denominator with same number and we divide numerator with a number we also divide when we, when we multiply when we divide numerator with a certain number we also divide denominator by that number same is the case in same is case with ratios if first term is multiplied by uh, let us suppose x then second term is also multiplied by x if first term is divided by y then second term is also divided by y so here multiplying both terms by 4 3 upon 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 12 9 upon 4 multiplied by 4 that is 9 upon 4 multiplied by 4 a 4 and 4 will get cancel it remains as 9 whole number 9 is a whole number now we have 12 to 9 now dividing both terms by 3 12 divided by 3 equals to 4, 9 divided by 3 equals to 9, which is a simplified ratio. That is 4 ratio 3 is the simplified ratio. So this was all in this lecture. And in next lecture, we will, we will be discussing uh, equivalent ratio.